Once this thing starts all back up, uh, uh-huh. right. so really just rehabbing, getting you know stability work, getting back to the feet, getting this ankle back to you know full strength. Wow, where, where are you? Where are you at? Where are you at with that? Um, how many games you played this year? So I played what five games? So five, you thirty six catches. Yeah, and I had thirty six catches. Man, you went to Athens and stopped bowling, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. So let's let's go back, man. Let's go back a little bit. So, so when University of Miami, and you just came in. This is Lawrence Kaiser, uh, for, um, current New York Jet, former Miami Hurricane, former Georgia Bulldog wide receiver. What you six five two twenty, right? Six five two fifteen. Six five two fifteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, when, when you first came, okay. So I told you this story before, man. We spoke a couple of times when you was at UM. When you first came to UM, they picked you up. You was a uh, uh, Kids, we were maybe what two hundred. We were maybe two hundred pounds in high school, hundred eighty five pounds, six five, and it was. I was, a, <laughs> I was six five. I weighed in at Miami, one eighty five. One eighty five, six five, and it was a local kid. I told you story before. He was like six. He was like six five, six six, hundred and seventy pounds, soaking wet. And I knew his mom, and I was like, "Man, where we going? Wait up there to get the kid, and we got a kid right here in the town." And I thought. But y'all wasn't from the same tribe. Y'all wasn't cut the same, though. <laughs> 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 you know? No, he went to Connecticut, and then he ended up, he, he didn't even end up finish, finish playing. Um, so you come to University of Miami, man. You you, you have a successful um, few seasons, a um, couple, couple injuries. What what went into the decision of you saying, listen, I'm, I'm going to do something different? I'm, I'm going to do something different. Um, explain that to some kids, because some kids, sometimes there's decisions in life that you have to make for you, you know what I'm saying? I don't know the story, but explain that story to us. Yeah, so, um, just give you a little recruiting background. So, uh-huh. me, coming in, me coming in Miami, um, people might hate me for saying this, but I really didn't, I really didn't, like, that wasn't really my choice. It was just, like, a bunch of situations that happened, uh, because I was originally committed to Alabama, um, you know, some stuff happened with my parents and stuff like that. So I had yeah. that. Okay. Miami was really like the only school, excuse me, that was still recruiting me. So it was just like, a, all right, let's just rock here. Let's see what just happened. So 
um, play here, play my freshman year. Um, going into my sophomore year was really, you know, I was preseason all American, all that, and then I tear my ACL. So it was just like, dang, you know what I'm saying? And so that was the first year with Coach Rick and, the, and those guys, and there's no, I couldn't play. So really, right. I was just playing from behind the whole time, just trying to, you know, still prove myself that. Right, especially coming off of injuries, like, look, I'm still healthy, I'm still the guy. Um, so you know, at times it was frustrating. And so um, when I came at the 2018 year, um, it was just the you know, Coach Coley was the offensive coordinator at Georgia. Um, you know, Coach Kirby Smart recruited me at, at Alabama, and I had a great relationship with him. And uh, oh, right, right, right. I keep forgetting about. Uh, Cooley and yeah, Cooley and Miami connection. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and uh, what's his? Oh shoot. Um, oh yeah. And then Jake, Jake Fromm was just like hit me up, and I just thought, you know what? You know, you know, bet on yourself. You can never lose. You bet on yourself. And uh, that's really what it came down to. And I just thought, you know, Georgia with Coach Coley, they know how to use me more than just a red zone threat. Like I was getting the ball, you know. And, in, in the slide, I was playing the slide, I was playing the outside, um, you know, doing screens, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, stuff that they know I could do, but, you know, at Miami, unfortunately, right. it, wasn't, it wasn't the case. Right, right. So so you would think that, that Georgia, national power, when you transferred over there, there's a big room of wide receivers that you had to fight through. Um, was that the case or no? I know one kid actually got kicked off the team as soon as you got there, right, or something of the sort, right? Um... Yeah. Right. So, but was it? Uh, you would think that they recruit, they recruit, they recruit, and you went over there to can, you had to go over there and compete. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And actually get, you know what I'm saying? Make your way. How, how did that go? Yeah. So, I mean, just me in general, like I'm gonna go get what I want. You know what I'm saying? Like I just got that attitude. Uh, I just feel like a lot of people from Baltimore, just in general, just got that attitude. So. It was just, it wasn't no pressure to me. I really ain't feel. I, I don't really feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. I got to compete against this guy. It's like, shoot, you got to go get yeah. that starting spot. What you finna do for it? And that's the same mentality I'm finna have going into the league because at the end of the day, it's a business. And, every, you know, people got to feed your fam at this point. So right. um, so I really just approached it like that. You know, those guys still my brothers to this day in that receiver room. Uh-huh. But, you know, I had one goal in mind, and that's the, you know, my, my main goal was to be yeah. a thousand-yard receiver this year. And I was right. going to chase for it until I got hurt. So, you know, just it was just my attitude, really, um, and it's just it's just the mentality that you gotta have. Is you know, it's not you're not coming to make friends. You're coming to for 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 a job. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah, if yeah. It's, business. It's, it's, it's business, and it's not it's not personal. And 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 you gotta be a man to be able to separate the two. You understand? Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm still cool with you, but we compete. It's business. I mean, and and and, and you go from there. It's two different things. Um, so, so you running? You um, so you back? You running? You full speed yet? Yeah, yeah. I've been running. I've been training. I've been running routes and all that. You know, just trying to maintain to see, you know, when the, you know, when this process finally ends up with all this stuff happening in the world. Um, right. So yeah, I'm. It's crazy, right? It's crazy, right? You back? <laughs> you back up in Baltimore? Where you at? Yeah, I'm back up in, up north in Baltimore. Um, uh huh. I'm at my parents' because I feel like a little kid right now. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, you listen. <laughs> You've been on your own for a while, huh? Man. So was it was it was it stress was it stressful? Like draft day happens, Thursday, Friday happens, Saturday happens. Uh, was it? A, how, give us take us through that emotion, man. Because I'm sure there's a lot of kids watching, man, can only dream to get to that point. You understand? Mm-hmm. To be waiting for those phone calls. Take us a little bit through that. Yeah. So I mean, it's really. I kind of, I kind of expected it was gonna go like this just because of my injury uh-huh. and, um, you know, with this Corona stuff, I, like I had a lot of scheduled fly out, you know, private workouts for teams just so they could see how healthy I was. Right. Um. So now with this Corona, they shut, uh, they shut all that, you know, flying and traveling the teams down. Right. I had, a, I had that in the back of my mind. Like, look, if I don't go on the later rounds now, then it's probably gonna be undrafted just because they don't want to take a guy that. They don't know how healthy he is. You know what I'm saying? Where they could right. just get him, when they could just get him a free agency and save them some right. money and some capital. So, right. 
Uh, so I had to figure it, it was like that, but you know, it was still in the back of your mind, you're like, man, they ain't gonna take no guys, you know, they ain't gonna take guys from Rhode Island and stuff like that over right. me. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. So, so, so right. just watching it, it was just like, uh, you feel me? I knew what happened, but it was like, bro, I'm better than him, I'm better than him, I'm better than him. And, and, so it, was, it, it, it it's frustrating, but it's a business at the same time. Because like I said, these GMs they want guys that can play like this, like this, like this. And if you right. hurt right now, and, and coming for me, I'm coming off injuries. It's like okay, so how healthy are you? Can you play right now? If we had the game tomorrow, can you play right now? And I'm saying yes because that's a competitor in me. Right. And they don't know they, they a guy that could just broke his. His leg yesterday will say yes just to get drafted, so they can't really, you know, trust your oh, hair. They got to see for themselves. So, um, you know, I'm just gonna happen. Luckily, you know, the Jets, um, they they wanted me, they wanted to draft me, but you know, basically mapped out, you know, what I just said. Uh, they was gonna draft me early if they could fly me out and see that I was good. Um, but you know, ended up like this, and I'm, I'm at a great spot in New York, and I just can't wait, you know, to go up there and, and dominate and, and shock the world. Right, right, right. Bro, listen, I mean, a lot of times, I know you're a young man right now. You move, you what, maybe 23, 24? How old are you? 22. 22, right, right. A lot of times in life, man, when things hit you, boom, and they seem bad, you got to sit in, in quiet and try to figure out the positives. You know what I'm saying? It's a positive yeah. in every negative. You just got to, you got to accept what's going on and be like, okay, you know what I'm saying? What, what's, what's, the, what's the positive in this? And yeah. you just roll. And you roll with the positive, you feel me? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's really what happened. Like, it happened, and, you know, uh, I signed with it just immediately. I didn't even, like, a lot of teams was calling me and my agent, like, trying to get me, but it was just like, look, this is the best opportunity for me. They they are in my corner. This is this is a family, you know what I'm saying? Like, they really want me. They were talking to me the whole draft. So, um, right. so I just signed with them immediately, and, Boom, you feel me? I had people with me, and I'm just like, look, this is what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, we know we expected me to go, if I wasn't hurt, to go second, third round. But this is what happened. We're going to dominate. Nice. Um, you know, I'm going to do something legendary, and that's just what it is. And, you know, I just, yeah. you know, everybody went about their business. When I was down, when I was, when I was by myself, I was just like, look, like, I just told myself, like, look, this, this, you going to have to, as hard as you work to come into Georgia, you're going to have to work 15 times hard. And, you know, that's just the reality. And, um, you know, so it's really just, it's more on yourself now than anybody. Like, you have people in your corner, but, like, you just got to talk to yourself as a man. Like, what are you finna do? Like, these are some, you know, you, you got a shorter leash than, you know, guys that would, would draft the second round. So how are you going to dominate? How are you, right. you going to, what are you going to do? You going to be 10 times a man or you going to cry out when stuff going to go your way? So, no, no, no. You, you got you to gotta stand up. You got to stand up. But, I mean, what you always got on your side, man, you have something that, that can't be taught, man. You're 6'5", 215 pounds, bro. You, you always got that going for you. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you, yeah, you always you always got that going for you. Um, so so, so, what happened from here? So are they going to eventually call y'all and say, okay, listen, minicamp going to start now, or they just got y'all waiting? Or what's going on because of the coronavirus? Yeah, so it's more FaceTime meetings. Like, we got a um, rookie meeting tomorrow. Um and it's really just Zoom and off Microsoft Office meetings um, yeah. until the NFL says we can go back to training, which will probably be soon, to be honest with you, just because the NBA just got back up. So, uh, I think so. I think I so. Probably, I think, yeah, I don't yeah. think it'll be that long before we go back up there. Right, so, right. So explain to people how does it work, because a lot of people don't understand free. You go, you go to mini camp, and then you get a chance to sign a contract. Let's explain to people how that part works. The free agency part. Yeah. Uh huh. So, um, so my my contract really is, um, basically as any other rookie. Uh, oh really? Yeah. So they signed you straight up. Yeah, they signed me straight up. Oh, okay. That's, right, that's right, why, okay. That's why I chose them. Um, so really I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing everything rookies do. It's just basically, like I said, I have a shorter leash and I got, you know, they going, you know, the guys that they drafted earlier are going to make the team no matter what. Right. But me, it's like, okay, what are you going to do? Can you do special teams? Or if you can't do special teams, are you going to be a starter? Like, are you going to show us that you're a starter? So right. that's basically what, what's going on right now. Um, <laughs> and like, you can't pick your number. 
uh, <laughs> because you know the drafted guys got a, got they got they thing first. So, so they just get you. Uh, so, so I mean, I got a good relationship with the receiver coach there. Right. So maybe I get the, you know maybe I get a you know a little, on the little side, but you you don't you yeah. don't you know. So it's just like a basically like you like you'll walk on like what you going to yeah. do like what you going to do so that's just what it is. But listen, it's a it's such an opportunity. So it's it's an opportunity that you can't. Everybody has an opportunity, and people like I said, people people get people you know the, the top round draft picks are guaranteed a spot, but also they not like a couple guys last year, a couple guys I know drafted third fourth round got cut. Yeah. And undrafted players starting from the first day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's what you do. Everything's an opportunity. Whether you go first round, whether you go undrafted, whether you're just a, a rookie trial. Everything is what you How you, how you going to attack it? What you going to do uh, against the best? Everything is what you do with the opportunity. And and, it's, and listen, there's a lot of kids. Y'all, y'all heard what he just said. It's always the opportunity and what you do with it. I know people got drafted fourth round and went to camp with this attitude like, I'm not playing special teams or I'm not – I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing that. No. And, and eventually it didn't work out for him. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's all what you do. It's getting an opportunity, and it's all what you do with the opportunity. So going to the NFL, was that always one of your dreams? Did you start off playing basketball, or was it always football? You know what's crazy? I started off as a baseball player and uh, and a basketball player. Like, I was real, like, hoop dreams, M- MLB. Um huh? So, like, in high school, I was getting my, – my hitting coach was the head scout for the Tigers. So, like, if I if I stuck with baseball, which I was, like uh, – I made so I made three varsity.